Oh shit! Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video we'll most likely be finishing the quest chain Family Matters, because we've just found out in the last video where the Baron's wife is, and she's been saving three witches called the Crones for, you know, and they're like really, they're like blood witches kind of, they, they do a lot of rituals involving sacrificing stuff, and it's very dark and twisted, and she's saving them, so she's stuck there in this swamp, and it's just like, she's living in hell. So we've got some really bad news to tell the Baron. You know, he drove her away by beating her, and that's the life she's gone to. And I think he's already feeling guilty, and now that we're t now that we're going to tell him that she's living in hell pretty much with these witches, he's going to be like, in bits. So I'm not looking forward to telling him, but, you know, we've got to do what we got to do, because in return for telling him where his wife is, he's going to be telling us where Siri went, you know, what happened to her when she left the Baron, you know, what she was up to. So... I think this will be the end of the Baron's quest line, so let's speak to him. Here he is. Hey buddy. Got some bad news. I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is we found your wife. The bad news is she's not coming home. So, here we go. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? I know where your wife is. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why would you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have we not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? I don't think she can come home. It's not that she doesn't want to. I think because she's saving the witches, she's stuck there. So you think I think I'm a, I think he's a bastard. Yes? Well my opinion doesn't matter. My opinion doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. So, not, not interested in your family story, so tell me how it was with you, really. I'm not interested, mate. Not really. You know, I know he's, a, he's just a dick. Sorry, but your life story, just not interested. This isn't a social call. I'm here on business. Will you at least tell me how Anna wound up in that blasted bog? She made a pact with the crones. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. Year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare, sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. So, um, she's only bound there for a year. That's not as bad as I expected, I thought. So, do what you want. I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. Um, I would say that one. I wouldn't recommend it because, you know, she might get killed by the witches otherwise. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. I'd recommend going on your own, mate. Just um, to speak to the witches, maybe? 
Because if you go with the other army, you know, you're going to lose. So we had a deal. Time you fulfilled your end. And what else have we got? You're working with another god. Why? How would you wind up here? Eh, nothing that really relates to what we're talking about. So let's find out about Siri. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It landed right in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're Oh, right. fuck. Died right at me. Um, alright, so, oh my god, he took like loads of my health off. I'm poisoned as well. Holy shit balls, he's deadly. So, um, the, the Baron just said to me then that if he doesn't survive, that I am to take whatever I want. So he, he seems to have taken a big liking to Siri. Just try and stay behind it as much as I can. Because Siri's dash is pretty powerful against monsters. And because they're so big and you have to get around them. Look at this. Yep, that'll do. Easy peasy. Oh shit. Where did, he, where did he get taken to? Top of the tower. So get to the top of the tower and rescue the Baron. So it, yeah, as I was saying before, it does seem Damn like... I, can't leave him like that. I was going to say, as I was saying, it, it does seem like the Baron and Siri did have a quite a good um, little friendship going on. So I wonder how she, why she left eventually and if it was on good or bad terms. Oh. like a chicken's head with reptile skin. It's weird. Oh, nice one, Siri. Oh, she is pretty badass. The more you play as in, see her, she's just a beast, isn't she? I'm gonna take its head off. Go on. What was that? Is it... Oh, yeah, it's dead. I think I'm in love. I may be in love. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> you can't find his holster. <laughs> Everything? Yes, thank you. What's wrong with that horse behind him? What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. We're even. It's why I must go. Why is it must? Why is that the reason I must go? Well, because I saved him. Let's go. We're, we're even. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here, you fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? 
I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Okay, so she went to Novigrad, which is the um, the city which I've been to before. So I don't know where, um, where to go from here. Maybe just go to Novigrad and we'll have to ask around. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. So got to go to, got to go to Novigrad. How to see if we get past the red ban red banyan blockade? Let's go with that one. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you, but go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. I'm, I'm definitely going to help him because he is a really, he is actually a nice guy. From when, watching what he did with Siri and the connection they had and it's just like, he's a friend of hers so he's a friend of mine type thing I feel. So I'm going to go help him. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Oh shit! Is that his... Is that his aborted baby? This is miscarriage baby, excuse me. It's grown up a little bit and it's got colour. But it's lo it looks like Stewie from Family Guy. that you tell me man or monster my men call him Uma and say he's a beast but he seems a man to me just hideous as idle shit doesn't look like a monster hmm doesn't look like a monster but my medallion's trembling strange where'd you find him funny story actually I won him in a game of cards Oh, so it's it's not um, his son or daughter. I think it was his son, actually. It's um, it's just a random monster that he's got. What? Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsemen's blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him, and Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird side story. This like we're about to go pursue his wife, and then this just happens out of nowhere. It's like, what's this got to do with anything? So now you've got a court jester, okay? Proper baron now, even got a jester. Aye, now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man, but there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. What's he talking about, fa farewell? I thought I was going to help him. And prove a good father to her. Alright, so he's off to the swamp, isn't he? Are we going with him? I thought that's the, that was the plan. I thought that we were joining him.
Let's see if we get another quest popping up. Return to Brookback Bog. Yeah, that's the quest. So we got a trophy there, family counselor. So yeah, the, the new new side quest has just popped up there. Return to Crookback Bog. I don't think this is a main quest anymore. But in the next video, guys, this is quite a short video because I, um, this is starting a new quest now. So we'll do that in the next video so we can fit the whole quest in. But um, this is just a side quest, like just an extra thing to do with the Baron. So we're definitely going to help him because I really do like the Baron's story and how it goes and how the character's developed as the Baron. He's a really interesting character. He knows and he admits all the time how much he's fucked up, but he's happy to like to admit that and he, and he really wants to fix things and I really admire it inside the character he's, he's such a cool character I really like him so um, we're going to end the video here guys and we in the next video at the start of it we will we will start that mission return to Crook Backbog and um, I don't know if it's how it's going to end up you know is he is he going to get what he wants like I think a lot of his men are going to get killed by the witches and I don't see humans and one witcher being able to beat these three um, witches because they are fucking scary. So, <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys, again, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>